Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we finished Traverse Town. Well, sort of. Um, we sealed the keyhole. We plugged that butthole nice and tightly. And uh, we're back in Olympus Coliseum where we are going to see this tournament that's supposed to be going on. What's up, Hercules? Are you going to compete? It would be great to face you. <gasps> It would be great to get my ass kicked against you. Um. So, I was moving around some equipment and stuff last episode, so. Alright. Let's talk to Philites. You know the rules, right? We can enter in the fill, uh, the fill cup. We can enter in together. Later on, I think as you beat... Like, as soon as you beat fill cup, I think... You can enter in alone if you so choose, but I don't think any of your other party members that are with you uh, will get any XP though. Hey, it's kind of easier to beat these Heartless this time around. I think it's because I have this new Keyblade now. Yeah, I got this new Jungle King Keyblade from uh, Tarzan. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. You get more Keyblades as you go on throughout your journey. This thing is going to help me, like, Immensely. That's the power of the yeah, it is the power of the Keyblade. This, oh, by the way, the, I love the keychain on it. I kind of actually want it for my key. Uh, key. Alright, right off the bat, get rid of these green heartless. Because they will heal the other ones. Uh, there you are. Alright, fuck off. Come on, I, I hate these things. So small, so tiny. Yeah, we got him. And hey, we didn't all die that time. I forget how hard this cup is. It's like the easiest, but like... It's the first time we're competing in it, so... Oh, we actually get to fight the individual pieces to that uh, guard armor. By the way, I don't, um, I don't think I've commented on this yet, but um, yeah, there's some people out there. Why am I using... Yeah, I have Cure. What am I doing? I don't think I've like addressed this yet, but yeah, I think there are some people out there who have never experienced Kingdom Hearts. And uh, this is like their first like experience of it. So let me fill you in on a few things that happen in the later games. This might be a spoiler, maybe not. But it's just like kind of a commentary on the future games to come, basically. Um, I love coming back to this game because I think it's like the most balanced of, you know, any of the games in the series. Yeah, it has some flaws like the platforming sucks. It really does suck as like you've seen. Um, but it's like way more than that though. It's it's way more than like just like commenting on like, yeah, the platforming sucks, but like, no. Yeah, granted, like, yeah, it has its flaws and like some other technical areas that I'm totally overlooking, but you know what? I really like this game for what it is. And yeah, like I said before, it's still my favorite game in the series to come back to. Uh, for various different reasons. Well, I mean, like, Chain of Memories is pretty fun. I know some people, like, don't like the uh, cards mechanic in that game. But, you know what? I like it for what that game also is. But I think Chain of Memories is, like, the turning point for a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans. I mean, yeah, when it first came out, and I think still this day, uh, it introduced, like, a lot of elements that would kind of befall the series, it seems. Because for the most part, like, yeah, this game is mostly focused on, you know, combining elements of Final Fantasy with, uh, Disney. And it basically is like a Final Fantasy version of, uh, Final Fantasy Disney game. I mean, yeah, I mean, of course you've seen it because, you know, there's Final Fantasy characters in the game. But that's mostly there for, like, fans who... I mean, in my opinion, it, they're mostly there for just, like, 
you know, fans of Final Fantasy so they could say, Oh, that character. I like that character. I don't know why he's in this game, but I recognize him, so... Yay. I think it's mostly there for that aspect, but... I, I digress. Most of the uh, games in the series, it's like... Especially, like... Starting with Chain of Memories... Um, it became more about like the story that's going around. It, it, it's like become mostly around like the story around you know these characters, you know around Sora, Donald, and Goofy. For the most part, in this game so far, at least, it's mostly about like the villains getting together the seven princesses of heart for some reason, and that's about it. You know, it's kind of simple. And as a kid, I could understand fine. But later games, the story gets all over the place. And Chain of Memories, the story was getting a bit more complicated. It was like... It was setting itself up for uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Which it did fine, by the way. It actually did it pretty good. In a way that it's like... It's kind of like reminiscent of Empire Strikes Back. Well, like, it introduced a lot of darker elements in the series, put the characters in more vulnerable positions. And it made the game a little bit more harder, hence the, the mechanic of using the cards. But I still liked it. I know some people, like, don't like it. Um, I know some people like it the least out of the series, but I actually found it to be my favorite game that's been on the portable platforms. And, um, with Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah, the, the difficulty went down way, way farther than, like, I would have liked it to. Especially coming from this game, which still to this day is pretty hard, but then again, it's only hard for me right now because I'm playing it on Expert, you know? But, but regardless, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 fell under, like, the trend that was going on in video games, especially around that time where it was using mostly quick time events. By, by the way, that's Arrow that's like around me, so if anybody's wondering. But, um... Yeah, for the most part, the story was just getting all over the place, especially with Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, granted, like, it was finishing up some plot elements that were introduced in... Chain of Memories. But, nevertheless, it was focusing more and more around the story that was surrounding these characters. Rather than, you know, it being about just the novelty of combining Final Fantasy and Disney. Which is the way that it started out at first, and like... You know, it's kind of, argue, it's kind of arguable about whether or not it still is kind of true to that same kind of formula today. Much like how, like, Zelda is mostly about, like, fucking camera. Oh, I got him. Kind of, like, similarly how Zelda is more about, like, the stuff that you find rather than the actual mystery of it. And I think Kingdom Hearts is kind of straying away from that. At least in the story aspect. Like, I would have still liked, you know... I still would have liked the, sim like, the simplicity kind of back a bit. You're not the champs yet, Sora. Calm down. Hey, I got gravity, which is probably a spell that I probably will never use. I never thought you'd do it. Not bad. Though you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're not happy for them. <clears throat> now, kid, you've still got a long way to go. Next round starting soon. Next time, it'll be the real thing. I think now... Oh, by the way, here's a chest you can't open yet. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, you can enter in alone. I'm gonna do that. Anyway, um... Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2, uh... You know, kind of took that a step forward and like... It seemed like a lot of the worlds that you, uh... Explored weren't as... Involving... Or as interesting anymore, it seems. And that's mostly, like very apparent as you're going through the portable games and this whole thing about the portable games just like kind of bugs me because that is where the story really took a toll 
I mean, mostly like the portable games were just there, just so you know the workers at Square Enix could do something. Because they had their A team and then they had their B team. The A team who worked on Kingdom Hearts, at least that's from what I'm told. Um, they're mostly they mostly focus on you know the Final Fantasy games as well as Kingdom Hearts. But I guess at the time there was like this oversurgence of like. I don't know, like, I don't know if it was a demand or, like, they were just behind on schedule, but the A-Team had to work on Final Fantasy games, like, really, really soon and really fast, so they were mostly focusing on that. Whilst the B-Team, you know, had to be put into work somehow, so I guess they made all these probable games for Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I've played some of them. Um, 358 over 4 days, I think, actually... Oh crap. I think 358 over 4 days is probably the most necessary of all the portable games aside from Chain of Memories. Because for one thing, it actually brought a little bit more clarity to like some plot element that was so uh, sort of lacking from Kingdom Hearts 2. And like it cleared up on it, which like I'm really thankful for. And it was it was kind of fun to play around that game, but you know, it wasn't really the same when it was on the portable platform. Um, from what I remember, like most of the dialogue that was spoken throughout the game was mostly in dialogue. There were like few cutscenes because that game was really sound in 10 DS. So anyway, that game, you know, it's kind of average overall, but you know, it was still fun to play because of the story and. Uh, mostly because, like, it followed in, like, the same kind of formula as this one does, where it's, like, kind of hack and slash. Only that one, instead of using cards, has a panel thing going on, where, like, you can customize, like, what kind of items you can have in your inventory and all that stuff. Like, I don't know, that one kind of aggravated me when I was playing it, but, uh, it is what it is. I had fun with it. But then, Birth by Sleep came along, and that one was on the PSP, the which I... I don't have. Very few people I knew had it. But, um... When I was, like, looking up, like, some of the stuff from that game, I was like, what? Because the first footage I saw of Birth by Sleep was through this cutscene, which everyone thought back in the day was a thing from Kingdom Hearts 3, but no, it's like Birth by Sleep. And, um, it just took me completely off guard in how, like, you know, overly massive it is. It was revealed that it was, like, a prequel game, but, um, you know, being a naive... Oh, man. Being a naive, like, 15-year-old or 14-year-old or whatever, I was really hyped for it, even though I didn't have a PSP. Uh, I look back on Brick by Sleep later because... I mean, even though I never played it, I've watched like some. I watched like all the cutscenes from it, but it seems like it. The story like mostly isn't really about the world anymore. It seems, it's mostly about like expanding the game's own universe, and like not that, not that you can't expand your own universe, but sometimes you just gotta keep things a bit simple, you know, especially now because. The, the more and more, like, these probable games have been coming out, the more and more the plot has been, like, thickening. For the worse, it seems. You can have an overcomplicated plot and, like, you know, this, you know, it'll have no effect on, like, how the story is told overall, as long as, you know, you leave some key details in. But for one thing, it's a game. It's always been a game. And I'm not gonna get into this whole thing about, you know, should games have narratives, or should games focus, you know, more on story than gameplay elements and all that sort of stuff? I'm not going to focus on that. But for Kingdom Hearts, like, I mean, everyone knows at this point, especially those who are like me and, like, have been fans for years. Like, all of us should know at this point of how complicated this, this whole plot gets. Especially in the portable games. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the cutscenes for Birth by Sleep, but like, from what I remember, I couldn't get my head around it at all. For one thing, it's a prequel, and 
second of all, like, it's introducing all these different elements to where, like, it kind of falls under the George Lucas syndrome, where you introduce too many elements, but you end up cluttering yourself and, like, losing sight from your original vision. Uh, from what I mean by that is... Like, I don't know if, like, it's a spoiler alert, but... Uh, I don't know. But I'm just gonna say right now. In Birth by Sleep, there, there's, like, this entire world that's devoted to... Keyblade wielders. And I was under the impression from day one that... Using a Keyblade... Would mean... You, you being chosen. Or especially, like, it would be the sole duty of just one person and one person alone. But then, again, you kind of wonder how King Mickey has a Keyblade, and... Yeah. There's, like, a... There's, like, a whole, like, world where, like, these Keyblade wielders come from, and it's just, like... That's that's basically where this prequel game takes place, and it's just, like... Again, it falls under George Lucas Syndrome, because... At first... In Star Wars, there were like only like a few lightsabers, but now it's literally the same thing. We go from having just one or two lightsabers to having like a bajillion. Same goes with Kingdom Hearts. We had just one or two Keyblades at the start. Now we have like a thousand or probably even more. Who knows? But for what? I mean, again, like I said, still to this day, I barely can get a grasp on any of it and like how this all connects to you know the plot that we already know of but that was Birth by Sleep that was just like it's standalone thing I mean it could be it's standalone thing except they you know were trying to connect it to you know the plot that's still unraveling even now and then Recoded came along and that took place like I don't know where it took place, but I wasn't paying attention. Like, that was like... That and Birth by S No, I shouldn't say that. Well, that and 358 over 4 days I owned. Oh crap. Oh crap. Hold on a second. Alright. I guess I'm not ready for it. I'll try again right now. I still got time. Uh, let me equip a few more items actually. But anyway, um, what was I saying before? <sighs> but like, three, five, over four days, and Recode were the only games that like I actually owned. And when I was starting to play Recoded, I was like, Wow. They're doing this stuff again, huh? As soon as you start out, um, you're being told that, like, Jimmy's journal has gone haywire, and, uh, you need a digital sword to fix it all up, and, like, Oh my god, I just wasted that. I meant to use Thunder. But, oh man. The first few minutes of Recoded, I was just immediately turned off right away. As soon as I started playing, I was like, yep, I definitely want to sell this game now because this is the point where all these portable games that are coming out now are just basically not only stalling, but they're also getting more and more half-assed each and every time. I mean, there were some voice actors who came to voice the characters in uh, Dream Drop Distance, which was the next one in the series. Which, by the way, took me completely off guard, because when Dream Doc Distance came around, it was the series anniversary. It was like 10, it was like the 10 year anniversary. So, I was kind of expecting, you know, there to be some news on Kingdom Hearts 3, but nope. It was uh, another portable game. And although that one did involve the real Sora, and not the digital one, or any other character for that matter, I was still not happy about it. It was just another portable game, it was just another staller for Kingdom Hearts 3. And it's just like, ugh. Can you guys give 
can can't these guys like get a vacation or something instead of just you know doing this kind of stuff I mean granted you know video game developers still have to work but you know at, at what cost at least you know give them like their own different franchise to work on rather than just Kingdom Hearts especially one as popular as Kingdom Hearts You give a bone to like, you give a bone to like the the team B guys, and like they'll walk all over it. And that's basically what everyone's doing. Everyone's basically walking all over the plot to Kingdom Hearts, to the point where like it's completely muddled and totally beyond repair. Kind of like the prequels. Uh, hopefully things will finally get. Clear as Kingdom Hearts 3 rolls around. I mean, if anything, that's the only thing that I'm excited for when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes around. So that it'll clear like a lot of things up the way that Kingdom Hearts 2 did. Although like the plot to Chain of Memories wasn't that particularly wasn't that particularly complicated. It at least simplified a lot of things, basically. Which was kind of appreciated because I was just seven years old when I was playing uh, Chin of Memories, so I I had no idea what the fuck was going on. But still, some clarity would be gladly appreciated for Kingdom Hearts 3. Especially now, since we have so many portable games that like introduce so many different plot elements, it's kind of lost focus on what the series actually originally was going for. Not that I'm a pierced or anything, like, like I said before, having your own universe is, at, uh, is a good thing, but then again, at the same time, it does a lot of, you know, anime archetypes, like I said, the chosen one earlier, the childhood friend, the, um, uh, I don't know, like, just like standard archetypes, I guess, I don't know why I said J Japanese archetypes, but... It does use archetypes nonetheless. I don't even know what I was going for here. I just completely lost the train of thought. But, just to simplify my own words here. Plot to Kingdom Hearts gets really complicated. That's the reason why the first one's my favorite. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can try to focus now that, like, I've gotten that whole thing out of the way. Because I felt that was, like, something that needed to be said. I mean, granted, I've never played uh, Birth by Sleep or Dream Drop Distance. But I'm just analyzing the games from, like, a story point of view. I mean, the way that the game plays is probably something entirely different. Who knows, I've never played them. But, at the same time, they should still have like a lot of the elements that can be found in any Kingdom Hearts game for that matter. Come on, you big lug. Whoa. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, man, I am really tired right now. Uh, what seat am I on right now? I am on the third, okay. I'm trying to like still get a grasp on like... You know, where the story goes because... Now that like I've mentioned Dream Death Distance and all this sort of stuff... I still have no idea where like... 
any of, like, the story is gone. From a fairly simple story as, you know, the one in the first game. But again... Oh shit. Uh... Oh god, that was close. I probably should peck some ethers. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Come on, son of There we go. I just hate how sporadic these things are. Which makes them like a bit harder to hit. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, you don't have to clear the fill cup, like, together and alone. It, it's just something that, like, it's just something that I wanted to do for myself. So, yeah, you don't, you don't have to do all this stuff about facing the, the tournament alone. You don't have to. I'm just doing it, just, you know, to, to eat, my, eat my own words here, stall. Alright. Whoops. Alright. Now I can take out this motherfucker. Yes! There we go. I got... <laughs> I got defeated the last time because I was too busy rambling about something, I forgot. What to start over? Fuck no! Doing this shit once was enough for me. I think, um, actually... Hmm... I don't know if me doing... Because I don't even know. It's been a while since I've played this game, like I said. Oh, I just noticed that. Donald's got a new MP slot. Good for him. But... Yeah, I don't know if, like, entering in the tournament alone affects at all, like, the levels for Donald and Goofy over here. It could just be for me and, like... I could just be the one leveling up by myself. Who knows? But... At least now with the fill cup, it's a good place to grind. Because for one thing, you're defeating like so many different Heartless now, and you're still getting XP for it. The only thing that you can't do is like go to your item inventory and stuff in case... You know, um, you're starting to do bad, I guess, for whatever reason. But at least you can enter in together, so... Yeah. I know I barely made it through, um... I know I barely made it through the fill cup just, like, by myself. But, you know... It was my first time entering alone, so... Yeah. Oh, by the way, um... The more and more you progress throughout... Uh, Olympus Coliseum, you get more and more of these trophies. If you fill them all up with, uh, trophies, because... There's one over here, that's for the Pegasus Cup. There's one over here for, um... The Hercules Cup, and then there's one for the Hades Cup. I think if you collect them all, you're able to... Uh, steal the keyhole, I think, for this world. You can still come back, I mean, the Heartless will still be here. I don't know how or why, but... Eh, they'll still be here. So, yeah. You'll, you'll find that, like, I'm gonna come to this world... Maybe off screen, maybe off, uh, maybe on screen. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode off right here. I know I'm a minute early. So um, next episode, we will go to that warp hole that opened up in the in the world map. Actually, I'm gonna show you this warp hole right now. Oh yeah, see, there's the fill cup right here. Yeah, I'm at the top, bitches. Yeah, 
as you'll see when we go out here there's uh there's a warp hole right here it'll basically take you to um another area um at least just one new area i think so far um yeah one area one new area so far you st I, yeah like sid said before you need the um you need the other navigation gummy to go over to this one over here but as far as i know like this is the route that everyone goes you could go to this one i think maybe i don't know but this is the one we're going to go to right now well actually not right now next episode we will but Unfortunately, we're going to have to normal drive, but then again, not unfortunately, because we have a new gummy ship. And we are now out of time. I guess I'm not a minute early. So, I'm going to end the episode off right here. And we're going to go through this uh, whirlpool. I'll see you guys then. Peace.